Okay, lesson 29, multiplying by the vector i. You can see this is the vector i here, up here. And we're going to multiply these two vectors together and see what happens. Now what I'll do here, I'll multiply z equals a plus i, a plus i b by i. And we get i z equals a i, and this becomes minus b. And on rearranging that, we get minus b plus ai. So we get another vector out here, which is oh, a bit further out than b, and up here. And that would be the point, say, q, which is minus b a. Now we go back to our coordinate geometry techniques and we look at the gradients of these lines. Now the gradient of OP is going to be B over A and the gradient of OQ is going to be A over minus B. Now if we multiply those two together we get B on A times A on minus B which is negative 1 and as you know that means that these two are at right angles to each other. And also, they would have to be of the same length, because if this, is, um, this one here is A, and that one's B, and this one here is A, and that one's B, therefore this hypotenuse must be of the same length. So by multiplying by I, you preserve the length, but you rotate it through A, anti-clockwise direction of 90 degrees, or pi upon 2 if you like, radians. Now we're going to look at this in the mod arg form, so I'm going to rewrite OP, OP is equal to R cis theta. That's my R, and that's my theta. All right. Now, I will be equal to, R is equal to 1, so that'll just be the cis of pi upon 2, which is going to be the cos of pi upon 2 plus I sine pi upon 2. Right, so when we multiply these two together, that is, um, OP multiplied by I, we multiply the moduli, well 1 times R is R, so the length is preserved, and we add the arguments. So that's going to be cis of theta plus pi upon 2. So you can see directly, right, you're going to add on pi upon 2 to get the new vector. Okay, let's say we multiplied this not by i, but by minus i, the vector uh, minus i down here. So we'll do that. We'll get minus i times z. That'll be minus ai. And this is going to be when we multiply uh, these two together. This will give us a plus b. So it's b minus ai. So now we're going to have here the, a B minus AI. So we're getting this down here. And again, this would be a B here. And an A there. So in other words, we preserve the length, right? And here we can see the same reasoning. This will be 90 degrees here because these gradients will be negative reciprocals of each other. We could also look at it from the, the mod arg form, it's even a little bit easier. We take minus i. Now minus i is simply going to be equal to the cis of minus pi upon 2. And this is, this is z equals r cis theta. Then minus i z will be r at the arguments theta minus pi upon 2, 
so again the um, the moduli have been uh, been preserved okay and we've moved this in the direction of pi upon 2 down to here so there's your right angle